<laughs> oh. So, we separate, because we recycle everything, we separate our trash in two different containers. This makes life a lot easier for us and makes it easier to recycle stuff. I'm mostly cleaning now because it's filthy in this corner. It gets because that way. It's where the trash is, yeah. right? Okay. And nobody in this house except for me can actually hit the garbage can without splashing everything shit everywhere all over. <laughs> but you can see I've got it marked. Not so much for us, but because when we used to have parties and our friends used to come over, they would always mix shit up. Okay, so like this one, this one is just eggshells. You've seen me, I showed you before what I do with the eggshells. I take them out, I crunch them up, I feed them back to the chickens. Sometimes I crunch them up, put them in the compost, or put them right in the garden. Really good. This one we use for coffee grounds and tea bags. So we use the coffee grounds and tea bags, they also go in the compass. Com okay, com com compass? Com compass? Compass! Oh, <laughs> the nationally published author! Okay. <laughs> So this one below here is aluminum cans, which we don't make a lot of. And you can see that's how many aluminum cans we've made in the house. Now I have some more in the shop that I've made because as you know I drink Coke Zero. Yes, in the shop. Coke Zero is sponsor of our show, not at a fucking all. <laughs> not at a fucking all. Okay. But uh, yeah, so we don't make a lot of cans because we don't really drink soda, but we do keep all the ones we Okay, because you get more for aluminum cans than you get for the tin. Now, what am I doing now? Okay, so I put metal and glass in this one. And then I pick through and I get all the glass out. Kind of makes a fucking mess. Notice that the cans are smashed, and the that's because we clean them. So that we can keep a lot of them in a small space. Yeah, we clean them and we smash them. Okay, so I don't want to tell you that it takes us a long, long time to fill that up. But in the bottom of it are the, uh, the bulbs from the lights that I put up for the holidays right. that I put up after Thanksgiving. So that's when they were changed out. And I'm just now digging them out of there. So, And I will keep all the glass. And like this is our water filter. Mm -hmm. I will take that water filter and put it in the middle of one of those blocks that go that I build with or something. But the bottles, as you know, I'll use in walls and shit. Or I'll use them to put stuff in. Like these, you know, I put the garlic and stuff in these and you know, I'm and I can in them. You know, you've seen me do that. So I'll save all that and I'll take it out to the junkyard and pile it in the dog yard with well, the rest of the place junk. she puts okay. it. Okay, so when I get done, okay, so I've got a whole pile of tin. Now you know, I've told you how much I like going to the salvage yard. Yes. Okay, so all of this tin. Now, sometimes I'll keep like bigger cans like that. I'll sometimes keep to use. And ones like this that are a weird odd size. Mm -hmm. I'll sometimes keep those to use in something else. But, um, and that one, that one's a big one. Nice big one, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep those for now. If later on, if I don't use them, then I'll put them in the salvage. Yeah, okay. okay. So, like, this was an old notebook that we burnt in the stove. Yes. Because we didn't want it. But there's the piece of metal. I'll turn that back in. Okay, so, I didn't take it all. You know, and a lot of people, they're like, I don't want to recycle. It's a pain in the ass. You don't make enough money to make it worth your while. It's easier to just put it out on the curb and have somebody pick it all up. You're right, you lazy motherfuckers. <laughs> that is easier. It's much easier. Just throw it all in one fucking trash can and put it out there and let somebody haul it away. You know what it's not better for? Your fucking kids. No. Your fucking grandkids. They're yes. gonna inherit this fucked up, nasty ass climate shit world that we created. Mm -hmm. We should be working to not do that. Amen. That recycling, yes, it's not easy. Oh, look, I have signs all over my house. And there's another one over there for the food trash. Because that goes out to the animals. That's what the animals can eat. The animals. And okay. there is where we keep the lids to those cans that she's currently throwing in. 
for the salvage yard because she uses the lids. They and know, they see me. She's so shown you that, yeah. Okay, so after, and not that we raise a good portion of our food here, but those cans mm -hmm. are since, I don't think I've done this since October. October, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, so that's all the cans we made. But it's quite a bit of weight, actually. It is, because they're all crushed. If I make nothing on it, if I was, if I was making nothing on it, mm -hmm. it would be worth it not to make the waste. Right. This stuff is going to get reused. Yeah. It's going to be your car. Mm-hmm body. It's going to be steel fence posts. It's going to be all this stuff. Somebody's waffle iron. It's going to be somebody's <laughs> waffle iron. Okay? It's going to be all this stuff. So, yeah. But I get I get so sick to death of people telling me, oh, it's really not worth my time. Or I found out that my recycling center just throws it into the freaking, I, it throws it in the landfill. Well, first off, I don't take it to the recycling center. I take it to the salvage yard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I reuse my glass bottles here, mm -hmm. and I take the rest of this to the salvage yard and turn it in so that for it can money. be for money. And I don't care. Sometimes, sometimes I'll make. I have made as much uh, as sixty, eighty dollars on a, on a truckload of scrap iron that I needed to clean up out of my yard anyway. Right. Usually, I'll make eleven to twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Whoopty fucking shit. That's eleven or twenty dollars I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna reuse this shit. Yeah. It's not gonna become part of the waste and part of the problem. Right. So there you go. You have that. And I'll basically I'll just leave it in that bag and I'll take it out and put it in the tr uh, over by the truck so that when I go, yep. I can pick that bag up, put the bag in the trash, and I'm ready. Yay. How long did it really take me? It didn't take me that long. Uh -uh. The trip to the salvage yard will take me at tops 30 minutes. Well, and you'll do 20 other things while you're out. I'll do 20 other things while I'm out. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere now because nope. of the fucking COVID. Right. But as soon as I get my fucking vaccination, I won't feel bad going to the salvage yard. Right. I'll be as careful as I can be. Mm -hmm. And if they catch something for me and they're not wearing masks, that's their fucking problem. That's right. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's... It's just not that hard. And all of this, all of this. All the burnables. All the burnables. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That's what we're heating with right yeah. now. Yeah, and that is labeled And that's burnable labeled trash. burnable trash only. No, no food. food. No food. Okay, right. so all of this is going to go in the stove. It's going to make heat. Mm -hmm. And our stove has a catalytic converter. Mm -hmm. So it catches, and it's got a reburner. Mm -hmm. The smoke that comes out of our chimney, I've told you this before, it looks like we're electing a pulp. <laughs> so it's as clean as we can make it. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have that, we would, if we were in the city, the, the way most of you are, where we had to, to plan and recycle and send it to the, we would still do it. Yes, we would. It just isn't that hard. It's worth it. It's worth it not to be part of the problem. Most of us will never have the opportunity to be part of the big solution. I don't have the platform. I don't have the money. <laughs> I'm not young. I don't have the energy anymore to be part of the big solution. I always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be. I wanted to be rich and famous enough to throw money at problems and help the world be a better place. Guess what? That never fucking happened. Mm -hmm. For most of us, that's never going to fucking happen. But if everybody just did their fucking part, mm -hmm. just their part, just what they could do, the world would be a better place. Absolutely. Make the world a better place. Until next time, over and out.